one humanity connection. It sounds really powerful, Henrik. You need to tell us what about it because、uh, it seems really powerful. It's like help you to kind of achieve oneness, I guess. So we'll wait to see what Henrik will bring us to that. So now, can you please open your chat and tell us where you are on Earth so that we can co-create this powerful energy so that we help everybody and we we show love and sh we share love and light to around the world. And I can see some familiar faces that we all have been here forever, <laughs> our family. So we have. Let me see where we are here. So we have people coming here from Abu Dhabi, of course, and then Greece, and we have California, Netherlands, and we have South Africa, Atlanta, Spain, and Louisiana, Texas, Spain, and myself. From Virginia, so all the beautiful family. I think、uh, we can actually get started. And、um, Inken, our beautiful sister. So I will pass it to you so that you can give some introduction and bring us there. Thank、all、you so thank much, Tobia. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, super special day. Thank you, Tobia. A new member of our core team and Walter also. Very warm welcome to to the core family. We are we are super happy to have you with us. And、uh, yeah, honestly, guys.、Um, first of all, my name is Inken. I'm part of the Light Warrior team, and I am so so happy. To see you today because I I really had a tough day and coming to this space is just my you know my home my family my race it it's just、uh, amazing to to be with you and、uh, after one minute of being here I'm light and happy and and this is just beautiful so I can't wait today because today it's Henrik's turn and normally Henrik is our tech guy but Henrik can do so much more than just technical boring things right Henrik so <laughs> I I adore Henrik he's a very very special person and although Henrik you're really young still in our team <laughs> you you are wise you are funny you are really an an amazing personality and and I'm super grateful to have you in my life and to have you in our team. Um, Co-creating with us all together, so I can't wait to hand it over to you. We are all yours, and and just start. Yeah, thank you, Inken, and thank you all for being here. It's a premiere for me to do this in a space like this. I、uh, guide meditations in、uh, some retreats I do, very on point for where people are meditating. Myself for I don't know eight years now. So I started in school, and then continued all through university.、Mm. There was a question of what do we want to to do, and Inken wrote me, and I right away wrote like one of humanity because this is、uh, the topic for me these days a lot. That I think it's especially in days like this because I think it's a very special time with COVID because it's the first time in history that we collectively consciously experience something as one humanity. I think like that perspective from COVID really hit me, realizing yeah there have been global crises, but we never as one humanity realized that that was happening and collectively looked at it. It's the first time in our existence we consciously, and that word is very dear to me,、uh, see this. So、uh, that came to me, and I was like, okay, like I have a I'm a systems、uh, practitioner and a systematic coach, so I'm a lot in system theory, which is A scientific way of looking a lot of things that spiritual teachings have been saying for millennia, that everything is interconnected and affecting each other and intertwined. So my invitation to you today is,、um, yeah, to first guide. I'm gonna first. We're just gonna relax in, close our eyes, and I'm gonna offer you some stories. Some perspectives out of the scientific world, because I'm a big science believer. Um, but narratives and perspectives from science that actually talk about oneness and connection and how everything is intertwined. And the invitation for that first part is for you to just let that sink in, connect with these perspectives and feel them, and see how you react to them. 
and uh, what's come comes up in you because uh, our mind is uh, one of the most dominant player in the modern world and i think we can we don't need to fight the mind we can hug it and invite it with new perspectives and use its magical power to just uh, play with different truths and different beliefs and once i'm done with these different stories i have a couple i will see what wants to be spoken and what's not um we're just going to connect with our our essence and then i guide you through a yeah connection meditation which is not necessarily one humanity i use one humanity to talk about oneness um so it's more con our connectiveness to everything but then in that essence uh consciously we as humans are connected together so yeah that's my invitation to you Curious to see how it goes and where this is going because I never plan these things. I don't write text down. So I also just like go with the flow. So enjoy. Have fun with it. Open your mind, open your heart, open your will. And let's see where this goes. I will not play music because I think our surrounding sounds are also an invitation to settle in and just connect with them. We don't need to detach from the outside. We can connect it with, with a different perspective. So uh, there's not gonna be any music doing this. So also see how that lands with you and how you feel about it. Okay. <sighs> Take a deep breath. And out. In again. And out. In. And out. Close your eyes. And slowly arrive in your body. in that vehicle that guides you through every day. Feel your feet touching the ground, connected to Mother Earth. Feel that pull of gravity down, holding you to that planet that spins around the galaxy. Feel that groundedness all through your body. And feel your crown. Tip of your head opening up to the vastness of the universe, to all those possibilities and infinity And let that vastness also settle in and all of your body from the tip of your head to your toes. Both those poles inside of you meeting each other. And then slowly open your mind to some perspectives of how we're all connected. Move your hands to your belly touch your belly. Maybe you just have eaten something, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Feel your belly. Maybe you haven't eaten something at all today. And inside of our belly, there are all these little organisms living with us, together with us. 80% of our digestion is actually happening by organisms that live together with us. They digest with us and process with us. Life happening next to each other. And the food we eat just didn't just magically appear on your plate. That were crops grown over you. weeks, months, years even. The 
food being nurtured by the world, growing strong, being nurtured by the sun, the rain, the wind, the nutrition in the ground, creating a new uniqueness, being consumed by us, and then we eat it. And then it goes out of our body again and goes back to the earth. All the energy is continuing. And the, all the energy in our body comes from that cycle connected to earth, connected to the sun. And start feeling your breath moving in through your nose, into your chest, filling up your lungs, your lungs taking the oxygen, recycling all there and sending CO2 back out into your surrounding air. And that CO2 then travels around the world and finds a plant, a tree, a forest, where the plant, the tree, and the forest breathe in that CO2 that you just breathed out, takes it in, and it strengthens the tree and the forest. And then the tree and the forest breathe out oxygen again, which at some point you breathe in. And every time we breathe out, we give back to nature, to the trees, to the forest, to the plants. And every time we breathe in, we receive from nature that gift of oxygen, of the uniqueness of the ecosystem of our planet. So every time you take a breath, you take in a gift from nature. And put your hands on your heart. Feel your heartbeat, that beautiful organ that takes all the nutrition and all the oxygen that we take in and circulates it through our body. Circulates it through our body. And there's this unique element that we use so our heart can beat. And that's iron. The element of iron allows our heart to beat and our blood to flow around our body. It's a key component. Without it, our heart wouldn't beat. The oxygen wouldn't flow around. The nutrition wouldn't flow around. When we go back in time and look around in the universe, there's only one moment where the element of iron is created. And that's when galaxies collide. Whole galaxies, stars and star systems have to collide with each other over billions of years so that we can sit here right now and have our hearts beat. Feel that connection to all those galaxies with every heartbeat. Every heartbeat is thanks to galaxies coming together, creating the element of iron. Let go of the heart. And feel your body. Mm -hmm. 
The reason you're feeling and sensing things is because our body is in contact with our surroundings. Our your ears are listening to my words. And those signals get translated from our reptile system to our nervous system, our limbic system, and create feelings. The feelings you feel right now, whatever feelings you feel, it's thanks to your body sensing something, translating it into impulses, and you're feeling something, and then you're thinking something in your brain. You only think because there's an impulse coming from the outside. Without anything coming in, there wouldn't be any translation happening. And then you have the power of the mind thinking something, translating that into an impulse in your limbic system, so you feel something, and then you sense something, or you do something. In and out, dancing together, your body, your emotions, your thoughts, all being interconnected, relating to that vastness that is the world in our life. And then we meet other people. We smell them, we feel them. And then dopamine gets released in our body and happiness and joy come out of it just because we're in contact with others. Or maybe there's a resistance and we feel anger, shame, all just because we relate to the outside world. So behind that reaction, reaction is a connection, a connection to others and to the world. And the last little piece to sink in, how everything is connected. The world of quantum physics actually has proven that every atom is matter and a wave. So everything we see is matter and a wave. Everything we touch is matter and a wave. So it is and it becomes at the same time. Everything has a frequency and stability at the same time. In other words, we are nothing else than matter and a wave. Matter and wave, meeting other matters and waves. Waves touching each other, resonating or not resonating at first and having to find their beat. Matter fitting together or not fitting together, finding its place. Everything playing together in a dance. Let all of this settle in for a bit. Feel it, sense it. With every breath, we're connecting to the ecosystem. With every heartbeat, we connect to the universe. With every meal, we connect to the living organisms on our planet. Moving around, getting in touch 
connecting and disconnecting, but always being together in one way or another. Let the sound of the singing bowl that I'm gonna play now, let all of this sink into your little vibration into your body before we connect, continue with part two of this meditation. Get ready for a sound. Let it vibrate through you and settle you down. From this silence, move deeper inside, move back and connect with that that observed your thinking, observes your feeling, observes your sensing. That, that notices, that you notice. That, that is there always through the stance of connecting with oneself, with others and the world. Find that peace. See it as a little bowl of energy. Maybe it's a light. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not even a picture that comes and it's just a feeling. Just feel that connection to that essence. That, that sits very deep underneath everything and is always there. Take it in. And look at the border of that to everything else. Is there really a border? Or does it simply flow over? Let it simply flow over to that that is you. See how that essence is connected fluidly transitions over to your body. Feel how that essence is connected to your body. From the tip of your toes, to your knees and your hip, to your 
your chest to your face. That essence is connected with your body at all times. With your organs, your heart, your mind. And let that connection expand a bit farther and see how and feel how that essence is connected to your feelings, to your emotions, to your nervous system. to your limbic system and let it expand even farther and see how that essence is always connected to your thoughts, to your mind, to your identity. Sense, feel, observe that connection of that essence to you. Everything that you are is connected with that peace. They're never detached. It's always there underneath. You're always connected to yourself. You just have to look. Feel connected to yourself, all sensations, all feelings, all thoughts, all what you were, all what you are, and all what you're about to become. It's all connected. And then go even beyond that that is perceived as a boundary, that edge of you. And feel the air around you. Sense the air flowing into your body and out of your body. The air around you. Feel the clove on your skin, wherever you're sitting, the pull into your chair, the pull on the ground. See that connection to that ground and the connection to the chair, to your clove. It's always there. Feel how that is in connection with you and with that essence below. And then expand even farther, see the connection to everything in the room you're in how it is connected to you in a way. Maybe you just see the room, maybe you feel the connection, maybe you see little light connecting everything around you with you. Clove you're wearing. You bought it at some point. It was created somewhere. Materials were taken out of the earth. 
created into the clove that you're wearing now, and now it's with you. Feel that connection of that journey of your clove with you. All the hands have touched, all the places it has been. always carries that history with you while it touches you. The last meal you eaten. Go back to that moment. See that food. Think that food. see the history of that food, where it's coming from. You bought it at some point somewhere. It was brought there from where it was produced. And wherever it was produced, it was nurtured over time. So it could grow into the food that you are eating at your last meal. See that history and that connection. See that process that brought you your food. If every meal you connected to that supply chain, to that nurturing process, you connect it to all the lives that are involved in creating your meal. Feel that connection. And go in your home and from you see the people that are close to you. people you love with, you talk with, you engage with, and feel the connection to them. Feel how they touch you. And feel how you touch them. See that connectiveness, feel that connectiveness. Even when they're not here right now, they're with you. And you're with them, conscious or subconscious. And all the history together created part of what you are today and what are you becoming. And underneath stays that essence. Essence is also there in all of these connections. In the lives that your friends and family touch, your colleagues touch, they're connected to them and they're connected to you. They're saying, when you go down seven layers of connection, we're connected to every human being on the planet. Just seven relationships down, and you relate with everybody. So everything you do ripples down everywhere. And everything everybody else does back to you. Feel that ripple flowing from you down to the people you know and love and care about, and the people you don't love and care about, but the people you connected with, the lives you touch every day. And feel how they touch lives every day. And those people touch lives every day. 
in those people touch lives every day, rippling down to everyone and from everyone back to you. Everyone you see and interact with is connected to everyone and to you. Every breath we take is a gift from nature. And every breath we give out gives back to nature. Feel that connection of life flowing in and out. Feel the connection to the forests, to the oceans, to the planet. As long as you breathe, and even after that, you have a connection to the earth. It's always there. Feel it, sense it, take it in. Every animal on the planet, every life form on the planet is touched by you and you're touched by them. The ripple might take time to come to you. And it might take time, you ripple, to touch the rest. But the ripple flows, it doesn't stop. Everything sounds together. Everything vibrates together. Feel into that vibration of everything. Feel into the vibration of this room. Receive and give. See how the essence in you is not so different to the essence of everything else. Feel that connection to everybody in the room, to everyone in your life, to the planet. And go even beyond that, connect with our sun. That energy ball. That gives us life. It touches everyone and everything on this planet. Which has been there for billions of years. Gifting energy to the planet for life to be created. Feel the connection to the sun. The sun is connected to all the other suns. The stars we see at night, their energy reaches us thousands, millions of years later, but it's still there. Every star is a gift of energy 
from a sun from far away. Every photon that comes traveled in millions and billions of years to gift us its energy, gift us its light. Feel that connection to the stars, the connection to the galaxy. to the universe. See how all of this ripples back into you, into your essence to that that's underneath everything. Now it ripples back out to the stars, in the universe, to everything. And then there's sit in that connection with everything In that silence that holds the truth of nothing and everything at once. And breathe it in and breathe it out. Connect to the silence that carries everything. Let it sink in. Let it sink in a new memory. Let it sink in into your bones, into a new nervous system. That connection to everything, to the world, to each other into ourselves. It's always there. You just have to look. And then slowly come back out, come back here into this moment. Slowly count you out from one to 10 with every count we arrive back here in the room with the Light Warrior Collective. One, two, three, stepping back into this moment, stepping back into consciousness and presence. Four, Five, six, letting this meditation ripple in ourselves, coming back. Seven, 
eight, nine, putting a smile on your face, coming back here to everybody else. And you can open your eyes, stretch a bit. Mm.